Rabbi Shalom. Let me start by giving all the praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Who the world calls God, Yahweh Shai, is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. The world refers to as Jesus Christ, Baha Sham is in the name, Rakha HaKodash is the Holy Spirit, and also Shalom to the 144,000 men as labor in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, and Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth, and it's sincerely Shalom. It's your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. The title of this video, Lord willing, is going to be earthly pleasures in the kingdom. Because we're going to have, still going to have those earthly pleasures in the kingdom. And what I mean by earthly pleasures, you know, such as eating, you know, uh, uh, having sex, uh, drinking wine, uh, you know, if you want to, whatever worldly pleasures that you like, you know, of course, as lawful, such as uh, if you like to build boats, all right, you like to. Uh, you like to build homes, you know, because scripture says we're going to long enjoy the work of our hands, you know, because we're in our captivity, you know, you know, you have certain things that you like to like that, that you like to do, right? Like, for example, you know, cook, if you like to cook, you know, we're going to be able to do these things in the kingdom of heaven. All right. Because the Lord is going to give us uh, extraterrestrial bodies, man. The Lord is going to change the bodies that we have now. All right, so we can be immortal, you know, meaning that we'll never die. And also, but also we're going to uh, enjoy our children. How are we going to do that? All right, because it says, uh, let me actually start with this scripture here. You know, because people might use this scripture and say, see, there's, uh, there's not going to be any... Uh, any marriage or anything like that in the kingdom of heaven but this is speaking of in the spiritual realm matthew chapter 22 and verse 30 it says for in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage meaning having sex because sex is marriage but are as the angels of god in heaven okay because the angels they don't have sex because they have those celestial they have those uh celestial bodies man all right where they don't they don't have any uh, earthly desires, you know, because even when you had uh, Raphael uh, in the book of Tobit here, Tobit 12, verse 19, let me start at verse 15, uh, Tobit chapter 12, verse 15, it says, I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels which, which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One, which is Yahweh. It says, Then they were both troubled and fell upon their faces, for they feared. But he said unto them, Fear not, for it shall go well with thee. Praise the Most High, therefore, for not, for not of any favor of mine, but by the will of our power I came, wherefore praise him forever all these days i did appear unto you but i did neither eat nor drink but he did see a vision okay because Raphael was traveling with him uh you know so he had he had uh visions you know uh because he he would see you know Raphael eating drinking okay but it was uh he Raphael, he, 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 uh, he had a celestial body, man. Okay, so celestial bodies, they don't eat. You know, so they made it to where he, uh, to where he was just seeing a vision. All right. And I believe he was with uh, Tobias. Okay, so, so that's the difference. All right, but we're going to have with was extraterrestrial terrestrial you know meaning the bodies that we have now so extraterrestrial you know pretty much like superhuman like like bodies man that's the, that's what the lord is going to possess us with 
in the kingdom of heaven. Let me actually get uh, Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah 40 and verse... start of verse 30 Isaiah 40 and 30 it says even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall but they that wait upon the Lord Yahweh the elect shall renew their strength we're going to renew our strength you know with these new bodies our right, spiritual powers you know electricity running through us you know just feeling like electricity just running through you all right it says, they shall mount up their wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. All right. That's super, super human-like strength, man. All right. Being like Flash. All right. Running like Flash. Flying. All these things are, 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 are going to come to pass, you know, with these new bodies. You know, you're even going to see that. In a time of Jacob's trouble, okay, in a, t a time like never before that we're slowly approaching to, you're gonna see men, you know, with uh, with spiritual powers, man. That's why it says, "Then shall be known who are my chosen." Um, this is uh, Isaiah six, 65, Isaiah chapter sixty-five, starting at verse seventeen. It says, "For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth." All right, so the Lord's going to create a new heaven, man. Okay, because he he uh, heaven is a uh, it's a condition, man. All right, we're in the this is Esau's heaven. Because look at the condition that they're in. They're not troubled as other men. They got the finest cars. You know, they own everything, man. Okay, so the Lord is going to create a new heaven where where the uh, Israelites are on top. And the so-called white man is at the bottom. All right. You know, you're going to have the other nations in here as well. But they're going to be under the, uh, under the rule of the Israelites, man. Starting with the elect. It says, I create new heavens and a new earth. All right. Because this earth is not going to be destroyed, man. All right. Let me grab a quick pre. Uh, please ask these one and four. It says, one generation passeth away. And another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. See, the, the kingdom of heaven is going to be established right here on, a, on planet earth, man. All right, we're going to have other planets as well, but the kingdom of heaven is going to be right here, man. All right, on earth as it is in heaven, the Lord is going to uh, establish that order. It says that in the Lord's prayer. This is uh, Isaiah 65 and 17. It says, for behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. And the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. So the former, all right, we're not going to be able to, you know, we're not going to be thinking about what happened in Babylon, man. Man, remember that day I had to go to work, man, I got fired, man, none of that. It's going to come into, it's going to come into remembrance, man, because, we, man, we're going we're gonna to be on another level, man. All right, at, at the state where Yahweh Shemiah Shah is not going to withhold anything from us. All right, verse 18 says, but, but be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. All right, because we're, because we're going to be perfect. All right, the Lord is going to put the laws in the emerald parts. You know, therefore, we're going to ever be pleasing the Lord. All right, we'll never disappoint Yahweh Shemiah Shai in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, because it all starts, you know, with, with transgression, you know, his his laws, man. That's why we're in the condition that we're in now, because we transgress the laws, and commandments of the heavenly Father. You know, but the, but if the heavenly Father uh, makes us perfect, all right, he's gonna forever enjoy us. That's why we're gonna live forever and be immortal. All right, part of that new covenant, you know, which is only for the Israelites. The old covenant, new covenant, only for the Israelites. It says, and I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people 
and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Going back to Revelations, the 21st chapter, man. All right, the Lord is going to remove sorrows and tears, roughly paraphrasing. All right, no more sorrow, you know, no more pain, you know, no more weeping, no more, no more uh, complaining to Yah by Shemal Shai. All right, no more mourning. Okay. This is uh, verse 20. It says, There's, There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that hath filled his days. For the child shall die at a hundred years old, but the sinner, being at a hundred years old, shall be accursed. Speaking of immortality. You know, and these other nations, they're not going to have that benefit of, of immortality. They're going to be dying. You know, they, they may still, uh, they're going to still get sick. You know, it's not going to be, you know, like plagues, you know, like, like, like what's going on in Babylon, man. All right. You know, but, you know, yeah, we, we, we can definitely plague them. You know, don't get me wrong. You know, but the sickness is, you know, it ain't. Uh, Jake, we ain't gonna be getting sick, you know. We're gonna be living glorious and uh, and clean, all right. But these other nations, they still gonna go through the still, they still gonna be saying, Man, I'm in the flesh, you know, or man, these bodies, you know, how we complain about these bodies. That's the heathens, uh, they, 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 they'll never have incorruptible bodies, man. All right, that's a promise only to the Israelites, all right, verse 21. It's really going to hit the point here. It says, And they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit, and eat the fruit of them. All right, so we're going to build houses, and we're going to be able to do things that we, you know, uh, that we enjoy. You know, if you, if you like to build houses, you can do that, man. If you like to plant gardens, you know, you see Issachar and the, uh, the, the, uh, the Northern Kingdom tribes always out here planting planting uh yards planting planting these different fruits and stuff for esau we're gonna uh do that but we're gonna be able to eat eat uh eat the fruit thereof man. we're gonna be able to to enjoy it man all right it's not gonna be an occupation for us man it's gonna be able to, it's gonna be something that we want to do uh, earthly pleasure okay it says verse 22 they shall not build and another inhabit they shall not plant and another eat, you know. So, it's a car, you know, with these uh, northern tribes, what they be doing, man. All right, we're gonna be able to uh, to plant and and eat, you know. Not another man eating, you know. None of that, man. It's gonna be for us, man, because we want to do it, man. All right, because I'm pretty sure you got some uh, northern tribes that 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 genuinely is into the earth, like likes to plant. Okay, the kingdom of heaven is going to be able to enjoy that. It says, for as the days of a tree are the days of my people and mine elect, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. You know, the elect start on with the, with the, uh, with the uh, 144,000 and one third, and, but also the whole nation of Israel is counted as the elect. Man. Okay, but there's an order within an order. There's an elect within the elect. Right, it says verse 23 they shall not labor in vain you see that we shall not labor in vain we're going to be doing these things because we enjoy it all right because we want to do it they shall not labor in vain nor bring bring forth for trouble for they are the seed of the blessed of the lord yahweh and their offspring with them and it shall come to pass that before they call i will answer and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw with the, like the bullock, and dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, say of the Lord Yahweh. All right, it's going to be complete uh, peace, man, in the kingdom of heaven, man. And we're going to enjoy earthly pleasures. All right? And it says here, in the book of Psalms, Psalms 84 and 11, it says, 
it says, For the Lord Yahweh power is a sun and shield. The Lord Yahweh will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly, man. All right, no good thing will he withhold. All right, you know, so, and this is a good thing that the Lord told us to do here. So we're going to be able to do this in the kingdom of heaven. This is Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Uh, let me start at 27. And and the powers created man in his own image. In the image of an image of the most high created he him. Male and female created he them. And and the powers blessed them. And the power said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth you know so the lord gave us that commandment to uh be fruitful and multiply okay you know so we're going to be fruitful and multiply in the kingdom of heaven you know nobody everybody has this thing you know you know we no more sex in the kingdom of heaven you know like like it's going off man all right, the Lord told us to be fruitful and multiply, man. All right, and this scripture here is gonna is gonna prove this. I brought this out in my last lesson, Ezekiel thirty-seven and verse twenty-five, and get straight to the point. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even even they and their children. And their children's children forever. This is speaking of the kingdom of heaven. Their children and their children's children. Come on, man. And my servant David shall be their prince forever, man. Okay? So in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to enjoy our children, man. You know? This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. Starting at verse 9. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So it's going to be complete order, you know, on, on earth, man. And we're establishing that order right now. Okay. You know, with these with these laws, with these, with the heavenly Father's words, man. You know, so we're going to be able to enjoy our children, man. All right, that's why, that's why we always say, man, Babylon is not the end all, be all, man. There's more to it than Babylon, man. You know, this is uh, Isaiah chapter sixty-six and verse twenty-two. It says, "For as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, saith the Lord Yahweh, so shall your seed." And your name remain, man. Our seed is going to remain, man. All right? We're going to have children in the kingdom of heaven, man. We're going to enjoy things. Jake likes to have. Jake likes to reproduce, man. All right? You know, we like to eat. We like to cook. Okay? We like to uh, be athletic, play sports. You shall run and not be wary, man. Come on, man. You know? So... I really had this what sparked me to do this. this one chick was like, you know, man, yeah, it ain't gonna be no just gonna be praising the Lord in the kingdom. We ain't gonna be just statues praising the Lord. You know, we're gonna be praising the Lord in our works. We in our daily lives, man. Alright, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm gonna close, give all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kodash, the bonus to the apostles and those great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. The next lesson I say shalom and the Bible ball shalom.